I'm shorting the maglock. I need you to trigger the override back there. On it. Welcome back, guys. It's Drew. And I got a fun one lined up for you today. Um, I haven't slept in a day and a half. Right? I can really, really feel my, my sanity circling the drain. Uh, even more fun, I got to go to work tonight. Right? A lot of people are probably depending on me being mentally stable. Uh, enough to babysit drunk people. And I got to tell you, I just don't. Feel it. <laughs> Today's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> we'll see. I got, maybe I can hey. figure out how to get some shut eye before I have to go in. I don't know. I've been trying to sleep for like the longest time and I just can't. Uh, you ever have that? I don't know what's going on with me. Triggering the override. But um, there's a voice memo on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and knock out like a little bit of Spider Man. Um, maybe this will kind of help, help, uh, calm me down a little bit. It feels like my, my mind won't stop racing and thinking about stuff, you know? And I think that's part of what's, what's keeping me up, you know? So maybe if I distract myself and, um, it'll, it'll help blow me to sleep, you know? I don't know. Tombstone's off the grid. Should I be listening to all the stuff that's going on? I know we're still in the rock sun. It's been a few days since I've uh, since I've done any editing. Um, it's Saturday. We haven't recorded since Tuesday. So I've been free for like a few days. I think just kind of been dealing with like uh, life stuff. And it's on my mind. And it's keeping me up. Plus, I've been watching movies. I don't know if that's making it worse. Um, yeah, I've been pff, really going back and watching like uh, some favorites. It's not like I'm watching anything new, you know. I feel like normally, normally that was like what would help me sleep is I would throw in a movie that I've seen before that. I don't have to pay super close attention to to follow, you know. Okay. Um, Why and I can kind of like listen to it as I start fading out. That hasn't happened. When he was teaching me to repair oh, stuff in the shop, he'd call me the little. I just watched um, American Gangster two nights ago. I forgot how amazing that movie is. All right, Denzel's such a boss in that movie. Russell Crowe's pretty great too. His performance is really good. Yeah, he didn't like that. Yeah, if you don't know, it's all about uh, this dude who was like the right hand man to this big time mobster, Bumpy Johnson. Who I think was a real gangster because like I saw him in uh, there's a other old movie called uh, Hoodlum starring Lawrence Fishburne, which I love. Uh, and Lawrence Fishburne plays Bumpy Johnson in that movie. So I think it's a real dude because he's popped up. And I think they actually, you know what? It is a real, it was a real dude. I think these were based on real events because I remember at the end now that I'm talking about it. They, I don't want to spoil it, but they, they kind of talked about um, where the guy is at now. Um, or where he was at at the time the movie was coming at, coming out. Um, but yeah, uh, it was about him and an American gangster. Denzel Washington plays, uh, at the start of the movie, he's the right hand man for this big time mobster. Uh, and the guy passes away and Denzel Washington's character, his name is Frank Lucas. He takes over his hustle and builds an empire. It's all about his run, freaking bringing heroin into the states and selling it. All right, let's see. Go there. No. Let's see. Wait, let's see. You know that guy? Now we got to sneak out of rocks on. No, it's. All right. Um. Next episode, maybe I'll check back in and let you know how our work went tonight. 
I gotta go. Go in and babysit all the drunkies. I could really feel feel like my body wants to shut down. It just won't. Why are you being so stubborn? Uh, hey there. Uh, let me see. What else did I watch? Actually, I just before I started playing this right now, I just went back and watched um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Um, because I had a I had a weird relationship with that movie, right? I think I saw it twice in the theater. When it first came out, when I first went to go see it, I expected like um. Uh, like a something like something formulaic with the Marvel movies, you know. And uh, it's a Sam Raimi movie, you know. It's a Sam Raimi movie, right? Um. And I feel like as soon as you realize that or okay, easier to accept it for what it is once you realize what it is, you know, it. Yeah, it's a Marvel movie, but first and foremost, it's a Sam Raimi movie. Like a lot of the imagery is stuff that he. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. I got to figure this out. Make sure that I'm doing this right. All right. Ooh, ooh. I'm supposed to pull this over here, right? Wait, wait. Mm. That glass is in the way. What's in the way? There's a note on that crane. <sighs> nice. Webs are conducting electricity. And then where do I? I hold on. Back to where it started, then make the connection. Other webs. Oh, back to over here. Where's the other thing? Where we're supposed to tether this to? Oh, right here. All right. You're good. Use a laser. One laser coming up. Um. Yeah. So the first time I saw Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, it kind of hit me a little weird because I was kind of braced for like um it to feel like a. Not even just a Marvel movie, but like the previous Doctor Strange movie, you know? Um, and it just, it didn't, which isn't a bad thing, but it's, um, um, Time to make it explosive. let me see. Uh, Sam Raimi movies, you, you kind of have to know what you're getting into, you know? He has a very distinct style. Let me see. Let's go. Almost out. You know? Um, and I love Sam Raimi movies. Um obviously I love like his Spider Man movies, the first two. Looks like they guessed I consider the third one a Sony movie, since they fucked with that guy's movie so badly. Um and I love the Evil Dead. I love Drag Me to Hell. Um Yeah, I like his his style. Yeah, you know, get a lot of eyeball close-ups. I think it's kind of like his little, little signature you know, trademark thing he does in in a lot of his movies. A lot of horror imagery. You know, so it was a it. The, hold on, sorry. Am I talking over the story right now? That won't hold forever. Go. 
I'll be fine, just go. Yeah, so the second time I went to go see it and I knew kind of what it was, uh, it, the pill went down way smoother, you know, and I enjoyed it a lot more. But I am aware that like a lot of people, I don't think it, excuse me, I don't think it reviewed super well. I think that might be the reason like people are, people who aren't on the Sam Raimi, like OG Sam Raimi bandwagon like all you know is sam raimi spider-man then it's not a given that you're gonna love you some of his other stuff yeah. you know you don't care you there's another guy coming around the corner that all right and then you pal All right, we're going to try and stick to some stealth here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, it's really easy so far, right? I don't want to speak too soon. But it is like shooting fish in a barrel. And then we'll lose. All right. All right. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I recently signed back up for for Disney Plus. I think I might have said that in the episode previously. Um. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's not it. Oh. Um, I went by, went back and watched, uh, X-Men 97. Uh, now I need to watch, uh, Loki season two. Um, I think I remember hearing good things about it. I'm excited to watch it. I need to get caught up on a lot of like Marvel stuff. Um, um, and also... I think I've been trying to give a second chance to like a lot of the movies that um, I wouldn't say didn't didn't really grab me. I felt like either I didn't enjoy them or I had mixed feelings about them. I'm trying to give them a second chance or see like, you know, how I feel about them with some distance. Uh, you know, because when you go see these things, you usually have like an expectation, you know, and ooh, like I said with Doctor Strange, like after I kind of um, knew what it was, you know, in uh, my preconceived expectation of what it should be uh, was kind of set aside. I was able to enjoy it more. So um, the next thing I'm going to try and watch is Thor Love and Thunder, which was a weird experience for me um me and rob went to go see it we went inside in the theater and we didn't love it but we didn't hate it but i think it was partially because like we were hanging out and it was just like the sugar rush of going to the movies and seeing like a new marvel movie you know um i remember being like what there's a weird feeling about this movie like something feels a little off you know, I don't hate it. I wouldn't call it bad, uh, but something doesn't feel right, you know? And then I want to say like a couple months later, I watched it at home by myself, just like taking it for what it is. And I was like, I fucking hate this. I don't know why. I don't know why I hate this so much, you know? All right, dealing with the rhino real quick. Okay, okay. 
really do like this version of the Rhino. Ah, ah. Oh, I ram him into a tank. That's, that's what we do, right? Oh shit, okay. I mean, I know he just said that, like, you know, the electricity powers aren't gonna work on him, but I still wanted to try it. You know, you never know. Why would he tell me the truth, right? Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. Okay. You cannot survive this. <laughs> okay. Okay. I really got to concentrate. All right. Okay. We can deal with this. Oop. Uh, oh, 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 boy. All right. Uh, I remember, right? I know this is just like phase one of the fight, right? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. All right, let's go, Spidey. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh boy. All right, okay. Uh. Okay, okay. Trying to hit Rhino with uh, uh. Ooh. damn it. You have outlived your usefulness. All right, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, I think I got him. Then got him. All right, steer him to the right. Aha. All right. Are you feeling confident, little ones? Good. All right. Okay. We can do this. All right. All right. All right. What are you doing with that? You do Maybe if I charge the engines. God damn it. Where is he? What's he doing? Okay, okay. Uh Okay. I think we can do it. I think we can do this. <laughs> I need to keep an eye on Rhino. I wish the camera would like kind of work with me a little bit better. All right, dude. All right. Oh shit! I don't have any electricity. 
Damn it. Okay. Alright. Uh. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Alright. God damn. <laughs> okay. Alright, okay. Damn it. Okay. Alright. 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 Damn it. Oh boy. Alright. 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 Okay. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. I need arrows. Did you think you could escape us that easily? All right. Okay. Okay. No, not him. God damn. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. I need some baddies. Ooh. Fuck. Come on. Okay. All right. We can do this. God damn. It is not hitting the person I wanted to hit. That. No. Go hit. God damn it. Go hit the rhino. Dude. Fuck. All right. Okay. 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 Okay, all right. I think we did it guys which is more impressive because i am on no sleep and i spoke too soon because he's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed god damn it all right Ooh. he's gonna keep throwing shit at us all right i gotta stay off the ground god damn it all right, all right, all right, I gotta pay attention, pay attention. Oh, wait, he doesn't have his weird armor on anymore. That's what it is. Okay. Nope. Asshole. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh. Shit. Okay. God damn it. Ah. 
Alright, alright. Alright, where is he? Where are you at? Where are you at, big boy? Ah. Uh, uh. God damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. guys in here all right Ooh. we'll just work on him nope doesn't seem like it all right okay where is he where is he where is he all right ah come on come on all right okay i think we do this more chin music. <laughs> All right. Okay. Where's he at? All right. Did we do it? I think we did it. Just make sure he doesn't do anything. Right back. Krieger will shut Roxxon down the right way. You know, Krieger told me how your brother died. Ooh. Very amusing. Ooh. Supercharge it to make his deadline. If the thing goes through with her plan, oh my god, Harlem, you ought to die. Helpless. <laughs> no, no, no. Go to hell. Oh. Actually, kill him. I don't remember this shit. Wow. Tensions building. My family's dead. Genki. I need help. I'm going to go grab a washcloth. That's some antibiotics. Oh. What are you wearing? It's a big moment. I have to tell you something. I'm a male escort, and they pay me big money to dress up as Spider Man, do bachelorette parties. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big hit. Uh, I have an OnlyFans, I have a Fansly. Uh, People contact me on Craigslist. I'm kind of a huge deal. I go by the name Rod Rodney. Uh, nobody has a bigger Rod than Rod. I was going to tell you, but I don't know. It just didn't seem like you could handle it right now. You have all this stuff going on with the election. 
<sighs> Whew. It feels so much better to have this all off my chest. And the other Spider-Man's gone. I just keep making things worse and worse. Remember way back at the beginning of this episode when I said uh, my sanity had left the building? I think we're getting a little touch of that right now. could ever do or ever be that would make me stop loving you. Nada. You give me strength, Miles. That's all a hero really is. Mm -hmm. Someone who's brave for the people they love. Just a guy who doesn't give up. Gloria's handling feast, and Teo's gonna help us go door to door. Perfect. Let's get this evacuation started. I'll meet you outside. You remind me more of your father every day. Hi right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this episode. Um, actually, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I just decided right now I'm gonna get up and go to the gym. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the day pans out and I'll let you know next episode. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Before me and your mom go door to door. Okay, cool.